Hey everybody, we're going to do a little video today about preparing an entire beef filet loin. And the reason why we're doing it is because when you buy an entire beef filet loin, it's beautiful, but it's also half the price of buying butchered steaks, filet mignons. And so there's no reason why we can't all go to the store and buy something that it looks like this and turn it into beautiful steaks. But there's only a few steps that you have to do in order to prepare it so that it tastes wonderful and it looks really, really professional. And the one thing you want to avoid doing is just taking this literally cut of meat and putting it in the oven or grilling it. It won't turn out the same. And the reason for that is if you look at the top side of this, it's got some fat that needs trimming. And then if you turn it over, you'll see that there's the entire length of what is called silver skin. And that skin along with this fat is very, very tough and it will not give you the results you want. And when you go to a steak uh, house or a nice restaurant or you buy this from a butcher counter, they've already removed all of these things. Totally, you can do this on your own and here's how. So first what you do is you take the beef loin, you unpackage it and you make sure that it's super, super dry. And you always wanna do this even when you're cooking steaks that you bought with, from the butcher counter. So you take it and you flip it over and you make sure that it's totally, totally dry, as dry as you can get it. And then the next step is you gotta have really, really great knives. So this is a knife that is used for bone cutting and, uh, and butchering. This is a typical chef's knife, and that's for the big cuts at the end, and this is kind of a medium-sized knife. So you're gonna see what I'm gonna start doing. The first thing you wanna do is flip it over to the cleaner side and just start taking away the pieces that you feel are excess fat. Some fat is good to leave, but you wanna make sure that you take away some of the fat that is just gonna end up being super chewy and not very, very clean when it comes to the actual butchering. So you see how sharp my knife is and you wanna try to avoid taking too much meat, most of the fat, very, very little meat. And you just start trimming these edges. And we go kind of along the top of this so that it looks nice and clean. And you make, your, you make a line, as you can see what I'm doing here. And you can switch knives if you feel more comfortable with a larger knife. But typically, if you want to be super careful, you want to try and do it this way. And sometimes the, the fat on the side is actually kind of tough, which is absolutely not, nothing you want to serve people or, um, or cook or eat. So you pull it on the edge and you start it with a little bit of cut like this. And then you just sort of gently trim as you're pulling. So this hand here is pulling and this hand here is cutting. And you can see that I'm not really taking away a lot of the meat but you can start to see that this is definitely not something that you wanna eat. All of these things are removed by your butcher before you buy it, and that's why the typical price of a filet steak per pound is double what is uh, the cost per pound of an entire loin. Now remember that a beef filet loin is on the back top side of the animal, so this muscle is actually used very, very little, which is why it's super, super, tender. And so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm trimming the top of this and it's starting to expose some inner marbling and you want to just get rid of all of that and basically work your way up to make sure that you remove all of these pieces. So why don't we turn it over and I'll show you some of the silver skin because this is the part that gets people the most apprehensive and uh, thinking that they can't do this alone. So again, start from one side to the other and you start to pick out this fat here and you start making some slices and you can see that you just wanna be very, very careful. You don't wanna cut it in half because these are two sections of the loin. You wanna keep those together as part of the steak. So you just wanna remove this and you can see how it's coming off very easily. And then you start to pull away some of this tendon and this is what keeps the muscle tissue together uh, when the animal's actually using this muscle. But when we're cooking it, we wanna make sure that we kind of peel it away. And so this is now starting to get into the top layer of this silver skin. Again, you see how it's totally coming apart? And you can kind of see this little area right here that appears to be an outer protective layer. And this is all part of the muscle tissue of the animal. And it's all good when it's usable, but not when we eat it. So you just start peeling it away. You see how sharp my knife is? Always peeling with one hand and cutting with this and you can see that you're being very, very careful. Again, using this hand, protecting your fingers, so never putting your fingers to the blade, but peeling it away like this, and you can start seeing where you pull away a lot of this fat. So, let's go ahead and remove this last piece, and I'm doing it a little quickly here, and there's no reason to rush when you do it at home, 
but you can go ahead and just remove all of this. And at some point you make a decision about how you want to shape the cut of beef. So in other words, when we're finished, we're going to cut it this way, and these are the steaks. So you can imagine this will be part of the, the saddle or the side part of the steak. Some people cut this away, these two, and they leave just the middle loin. And that's a decision you can make uh, at home on your own. It depends on how clean you want to make and how many ounces you want to make the steak. All right, so this is part of the top layer of the skin. You can see how I'm peeling it away. And now I'm exposing what is now known as the silver skin. So let's get to that piece right here. This is the silver skin, and you can see how it's shiny, and this is all tendon material. And so let's start going from this side. And if you can see over here, you can see how it starts to peel away. And you want to make a start here. Again, very sharp knife. And once you make a start, then it's a lot easier. And then you just start sort of cutting it away. And you have to peel it. And sometimes it's, it's even easier to start from the other side. So you just kind of have to feel. Each piece of meat is unique. And so you want to make sure that you're uh, just starting it from whichever side you feel is easiest. You start to see how this is all kind of peeling away. There you go. Start making some very sort of specific and careful cuts. And then ultimately you peel this away and we're exposing more and more of the silver skin. And so there we go. We start having a little bit of, and it's okay if you're tearing a little bit into the the meat tissue because we're just being very gentle with it and we start peeling it away. So you start to do this across the entire skin, top side of the beef, and little by little you start to prepare it in a very nice, there it is, and you see how it takes a little bit of patience to get it going and just start taking it away, there we go and you just kind of do this, and you can almost peel it, but you don't want to rip it. So you want to be very gentle with your cuts. And all of these little markings here, don't be concerned about these, those will go away when you're cooking them. But all of this is what makes the difference of a beautiful cut of meat versus something that's chewy that you paid a lot of money for, and you're wondering why it doesn't taste as good as you wanted it to. No amount of herbs and seasonings will make this silver skin edible. So let's pretend that this is your close to finished section. Let me cut off a little bit of this fat here and then we'll get to a point where I'll show you if you did the entire beef loin this way and imagine that this section here is your beef loin, and you wipe it away. And you see you have one other piece here. We'll get rid of this real quickly. Okay, so now, if you were to cut this here and here, like I'm about to do, you're gonna see that, and we didn't remove the saddle, we could have, you're gonna see how it's gonna look really beautiful. See how easy it cuts? That's because I removed all of the tendon that's here. And let's say you want to make it about this thick of a cut. Sharper the knife, the better. Sharp knives do not cut fingers, but they cut what you want it to cut. So, this would be an example of a beautiful cut of filet, where we could have removed this if we chose, but honestly, you want to even, and you can tie it with a little bit of, of a butcher string and, and cook it. But this is a beautiful cut steak that there's no reason you should pay a butcher to make 10 or 12 of these out of this. And this is just a peel away process. So, hope this was helpful. Totally doable at home. Watch it and try it yourself. Thanks.